Oh crap! Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today we're going to use the rubber ducky in order to... Actually, we're not going to use the rubber ducky, but I'm going to show you how you can bypass the Windows login screen without knowing the password and without the rubber ducky this time. So the reason that the rubber ducky isn't used today is because the rubber ducky won't be able to do this method because I'm going to use some restarts during the process. And if you restart, the rubber ducky basically uh, doesn't get the power that it needs in order to operate and after restart it will start again from the beginning. So rubber ducky is no good for this method. The only things that you need in order to do this method is actually two things. First of all, a computer that you cannot log in, you don't know the password. So obviously I do know the password for this computer, uh, but um, for this example I don't know the password. And the second thing that you need is a Windows CD or a USB. First thing to do is prepare your CD or USB, let it be already in the uh, drive, because we are going to restart into it right now. Now don't forget when you are booting that you need to boot in your CD or USB, whatever it is. So enter your boot menu, which uh, sometimes is, it's escape, sometimes it might be Dell, sometimes it might be any other key. You should know uh, according to your BIOS. Now when that boots up, click next and then repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot, system image recovery, choose Windows 10, unless you are on Windows 7 that will work as well. Here click on cancel, click on next. advanced and install a driver and click OK. Now obviously we are not installing any driver we are going to this PC to drive C or any drive that your Windows is installed to the Windows folder to System32 And we are searching for the file called setHC. We are going to rename it and add .bak as backup. Note that it's not renaming automatically, you need to refresh, but it doesn't matter. Now we are going to search for cmd and we are going to actually uh, copy it and paste it right away here. Then we'll need to refresh it with F5 and the new copied CMD we're going to rename it to set HC. That's basically it. We can click on cancel, cancel anything that we need and restart the machine.
So now that our system is booted, if you know the sticky keys that you press about, I think, five times shift, uh, that's exactly what we replaced. So uh, when I'll press now five times shift, it will do two things. First of all, it will actually open the sticky keys window from my real machine, because I'm running this windows in a virtual machine. And secondly, you'll see that the CMD that we copied will actually pop up instead of a sticky keys on the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and do that. That's it. So this CMD is <laughs> actually uh, an administrator uh, CMD, which means if we will do something like that, for example, and voila, uh, we have an option to reset the password of a user. So basically we just click reset and we enter a new password. Let's go ahead and add one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's just a virtual machine, so I don't really care. Press OK. Close the CMD. We don't have to do that, but let's do that. And one, two, three, four. And it says welcome. Let's make sure that it actually logs in. And that's it, we're in. That's a pretty much uh, easy way to bypass the login screen without knowing the current password and pretty much hacking the system and the user that is uh, on the machine. Now, note in mind that this trick will work both on Windows 10 and on Windows 7. Uh, you do need to have for Windows 7, I think, specifically the Windows 7 CD or USB, but it works pretty much the same way. From here on, you can reset again the password to whatever you want, uh, or go ahead and uh, switch back the file that we previously edited and remove the copied CMD and restore the setHC file from .bak. Just remove the .bak and you're good to go. So that's it, guys. Now you know how to bypass a Windows login screen without almost anything, just a Windows CD or a USB, as I said, and nothing else. You don't need even the rubber ducky. Uh, I hope you like this video and as always remember that you are not allowed to use it in any corporations or anything. It's just a method for your own knowledge or if you're stuck or anything, it might be a good solution. But do not use it for hacking or anything that you are not allowed to do. So that's it, you know what to do. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, although you shouldn't. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and when you do, don't forget to ring that little bell to receive each video updates. And as always, share this video and the channel with all your friends so they will know that cool stuff as well. And as always, see you in the next one.